know a lot of people love Legos. Who doesn't like Legos? But you probably haven't done Legos quite like these guys. No, have. we've been looking forward to this segment all show long. We have representatives from Beehive Academy in Sandy here with us, and we also have Weber State in the house. Great to have all of you with us. Thanks so much for being here. Okay, so you guys are from Beehive Academy. You're part of this team that competed, and your team name is Plan B. Yes. Mm -hmm. That caught our attention. Tell us a little bit about how Plan B came about. Um, we are the second team that we, in our school, and our school is named Beehive Academy, so we decided it would be a bit punny to name it <laughs> Plan B with B -E -E. two E's. E -E. All right, I like it. Good so, stuff. So Aiden, over here, you guys built this thing. Can you demonstrate what this exactly does? Yes, so what this will do is it will drop food um, from here, and what it will um, deliver it. And right now we're just going to have it do an example. Okay. Where's the food? The food is in it's, these little cartridges. Yeah. Okay. They're the two pieces. Cool. Let's see this. So what is the idea? Where did it come from? So, are you talking about the food delivery system? Mm-hmm. Okay, ah, so... Ah, there, you see that right there. So, we had to find a way to... One of the missions for um, our robot game was to deliver food to different animals. And so, we found this way that it could deliver food on its own, which was really cool. And so, we decided to, we decided to do it like this. Uh, do you guys recommend eating this food? <laughs> no. No? Okay, no. <laughs> so, so you guys competed last week, correct? Yes. yes. Tell us a little bit about how the competition went. Um, it was very fun, and we met a lot of new friends and people there, so, and... So, um, only the top ten teams went on from the qualifier, and so to be in the top ten teams, you had to be really good in your core values, in your RDES, which is Robot Design Executive Summary, your robot game, and your project presentation. Awesome. How important is this to foster this information, the skill? I mean, these are future engineers, future scientists. I mean, what do you see out of this? That's exactly why we do it at Weber State. Because of this, kids like this, we want to encourage them, and they can take everything they learn at school, at home, and on their own, and apply it. So it's really applied science and math and technology, and we love that. And I mean, that, these are the kids who are going to be ruling the world. And that's Absolutely. a huge need right now here in the state of Utah, the STEM-related uh, academics, isn't it? Yes, it is. And that, really, we have 285 first Lego League teams mm -hmm. in our state. And we run the program at Weber State now, and we, we love it. This is a great public service for our state. How long did it take you guys to build this? So it took us about three weeks to build the robot and about one week to build this. The hard part was the programming. It took a longer than it did for anything else to perfect the programming and make it consistent. Okay, I have a new project for you guys. Are you ready? We need a floating mic that can go from person to person as we talk about this segment next time you guys come on. Can you do that for us? Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty okay. sure they could be the ones to handle that. Real quick, another competition coming up. Give us all the details on that. Yep, absolutely. We have Floating mic, floating mic. <laughs> we have the state championship, the Northern Utah State Championship on Saturday at Weber State. We'll have 47 of the top teams, about 400 kids, 1,200 people for our first day at Weber State. And everyone's invited. All right. So cool. Good luck, Plan B, this weekend. Best of luck. I love it.